Well, you guys have all heard of the hydrogen engines, but now, and it, you know, everybody's getting schwatted by the gas companies, whoever's trying to make gas powered engine. I mean, uh, water powered engines, hydro engines. You already know this. Everybody is old, but now what people have been starting to do is make soup powered engines. So I thought this was pretty cool, but this guy is able to put, um, soup into his engine and it actually runs off of soup. So it's kind of like that uncanny valley area where, not uncanny valley. What am I? So no, it's uh, it's kind of normal, but kind of not. So in a way, he's not making a hydrogen powered engine. So the gas company should be fine with it. But anyway, this guy is making his engine run off of soup. So here it is. Oh, spaghetti. This is what mechanics don't want you to know. Mm-hmm. Why they're not telling you. I see. We're getting sucked in. Kind of like those fishes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the car really likes that flavor. Yeah, so. It is. All right. Good man. See you next time. Everything's running better on spaghettios. <laughs> yeah, so that that's uh this guy's actually doing it. He actually made a soup running engine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe it wasn't feeling very good. Maybe it was a little under the weather and it just nothing makes us feel good as much as gasoline. So this woman decides oh, to wow. go to the uh gas station and just give itself a you know, needs a full fuel well, clean. How is she doing that? And uh, well, it's, the, well, it's a little expensive. Yeah, it's a really expensive car wash. Yeah, uh, but you know, oh. you know, you can put spaghettios into your air intake, yeah. and you can just wash your car with fuel. She's getting that on her clothes too. If she yeah. smokes, oh, she's got a mask on. So yeah, well, regardless, clean. everybody's clean. Yeah, I it's guess so. it's thorough. You know, that probably did do some really good cleaning. Yeah, like take your paint straight off. Yeah, pretty much. She should have just went to this guy, though. I mean, I don't know. I, I was going to say, here, here's another video of the guy putting more soup in the same engine. Oh, see? This one's it's chicken noodle. See, maybe the, maybe the car is... Yeah, see, it's like... Yeah, see? I stopped it. I stopped it from the... Yeah, hydro... Hydro... <laughs> Hydro lock. <laughs> anyway, I think we've all seen enough. Uh, so uh, forget about hydro-powered engines. I guess the way of the master is now soup run engines, chunky soup. Well, that's. I think like a, I think that might be a. I think that might be a good idea, especially when it's cold. You know, everybody likes a good hot bowl of soup when it's cold. And, you know, they tell you, you know, there's this debate. Should I heat my, preheat my engine? Should I not when it's cold? Forget all that. Okay. Just, just throw some soup in there. And everybody feels better. And make sure it's hot. Like, you know, make, you know, do a little service. Put in the microwave at 2.45 gigahertz and boil that water. <laughs> and then give that nice warm bowl of soup to your frozen car engine and i think it's going to it's going to be happy and give you a positive result i think that's what he's showing us see this isn't probably optimal because it's hot outside i could tell it was pretty sunny and hot well i can say from experience you know the chunky chicken noodle soup has always got my engine turning just fine i mean (laughs) (laughs) it's got (laughs) <laughs> What's so funny? You find that funny? They're going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, you know, it's got it's got to be the chunky. I, I don't like the thin soup. I, I like it thick. I think a lot of people do. Yeah. I like it. I, I want you to lay it on heavy. Yeah, well. Regardless, I hope everybody is ready for the winter season after our Category 6 hurricane season. And don't forget this uh, tip. That was provided here at Toilet Time TV, exclusively by colleagues Toilet Tab. Put that chunky soup, 
feed it a hot bowl of SpaghettiOs, and your car will thank you. Unless you're part of Ronnie B's clique, and then... You can get out of here. Yeah. Well, no, this is the place for you. Everybody else can go suck rocks.